In this video, I want to show you how to use the uh, digital functionalities of your microcontroller to turn on the LEDs of your board. So your board has a red, blue, and green LED connected to pins PF1, PF2, and PF3 of the port F register. So notice that port register, I mean port F register actually starts at a zero. So the LEDs are on bit one, bit two, and bit three. And if we examine the LED schematic further, we see that uh, the LEDs cathodes are connected to a transistor. So by providing a high voltage value to this transistor, we are turning on the LEDs. If we provide it with a low voltage value on the base, then the LEDs will be turned off. So now that you know the LEDs connection to your microcontroller, and this is the same for the Stellaris board, let's go and check out the code that we need. So in my previous video, I showed you how to set up your IDE in the uh, Texas Instruments libraries. First thing we need to do is we need to include this file. It works for both the Stellaris board and the Tiva C series board. I've also made a wait function that will be used to make a delay in time between each of the uh, LEDs. So the first line of code is one that we need to enable the port F on your microcontroller, which is where the LEDs are connected to. So if we go to the data sheet and see this register description, you will see that it says that the uh, RCG C GPIO register provides software the capability to enable and disable GPIO modules. If we scroll down, you will see that bit 5 of that register is port F on your microcontroller and that giving it the value of 1 enables that port. So we change this value of 20 from hexadecimal to binary, you will see that bit 5 is set to a value of 1. So this is bit 0, bit 1, bit 2, 3, 4 and 5 which is port F. So we enable port F. We set the direction for the port, so do we want an input or an output? We want an output since we are connecting LEDs to the port and we are sending signals, we are not receiving signals. So if you go to the description of the GPIO register, you will see that setting a bit in the, in the uh, register configures the pin to be an output. Whenever you see the words setting a bit, that means giving them the value of 1. If you see the words clearing a bit, that means giving them the value of zero. So in the GPIO DER register, you have port, I mean, yeah, pin F0, pin F1, pin F2, and pin F3. So these are my pins where the LEDs are connected to in the schematic. One, two, three. You also have some switches in that port, but we're not, I'm not going to show you how to use the switches until my next video, which will be about digital inputs. So I want my LED pins to be outputs. Next, I want to enable the digital functionality of the pins. Once again, this is uh, PF1, PF2, PF3. This is PF0. So that would be the switch, but I'm just concerned about my LEDs. So I am enabling the digital capabilities of those pins. If you go to the register, you will see here that uh, GPIO then means digital enable register. To use these pins as a digital input or output, the corresponding pin or bit must be set. So we have to give those pins the value of one if we want to enable 
the uh, digital capabilities. Next we have the data register which is what actually makes the uh, pins on the microcontroller be either high or low. If we want the uh, pins to be high we give them the value of 1, if we want the pins to be low or off we give them the value of 0. I want to turn on my red LED, wait for some time, turn on my blue LED and turn off the others, wait for some time, turn on the green LED and turn off the others and then wait for some time before I go back and turn on the red again and turn off the others. So if you change each of these values to a binary value, you will see that I only turn on one of the LEDs while I turn off the others. My wait function is simply a while loop with a value that I chose to be large enough for me to see an actual delay in time between each of the LEDs. I will show you in other videos how to control time precisely using timers. But for this video, just go ahead and use this code that I have. And of course, you can go ahead and change this value to increase the delay in time or to decrease it. I will also post links to the schematic for your board as well as the data sheet for your board. Once again, this code works with your Stellaris board as well. I'm actually using the uh, Tiva C series, but I and uh, they are the same microcontrollers. The only name, the only difference is the name. So they uh, change the branding and they change the name of the microcontroller. So now that you have written the code, let's go ahead and upload it to your board. Go to project, rebuild all. So you should have zero errors and one warning go ahead and press download and debug so now we have entered the debugging session go ahead and click this button that says go so you should you should be getting uh, what I have here which is my red LED turns on then my blue then my green Another thing I want to show you is a little bit about using the debugging function of the uh, IR development environment. So once again, uh, you notice I clicked on the red X. Go ahead and click on that to stop the debugging session. Press, since we already have the code in the microcontroller, we don't have to download and debug. We can just press debug again. But uh, first, let's set some breakpoints. So those are points where our microcontroller will stop when we enter the uh, debugging session. So we press debug without downloading. And then we click go. Notice that my microcontroller has stopped at the red on, but it hasn't executed that instruction yet. So go ahead and press next statement. So my red LED is on, go ahead and press next statement again. Now we are at the blue on statement. Press next again. So that's my blue LED. Go ahead and continue pressing next. That's my green LED. Go ahead and exit the uh, debugger. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.